um, when it comes to scheduling, I think um, I truly am a believer of the fact that if you have a hand, you can't do it. 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 You have to work really hard. There's no free lunch in the world. And I'm willing to sacrifice my sleep. I'm willing to sacrifice food. I'm willing to sacrifice quality of life, if that's what you want to call it. And uh, to be able to achieve, to be an achiever. Um, because to be an achiever, you have to let go of some things. Um, I make it a point that I fly my family wherever I am, I fly my friends wherever I am, I, I fly my cook wherever I am, because I need my Hindi. I need my dal chawal at night. It's very important. Wow. So, my cook is the most important thing that I But besides that, I think, you know, when you want global domination, you have to pay for price for it. It's as simple as that. <laughs> I don't think that one film is Hollywood is done. I don't think so. My show has had just one season. Um, I mean, yes, my television show, I'll take credit for it because it's done tremendously well. It's very, very successful. We've gone to about 210 territories around the world, dubbed in about 56 languages already. Like, I was just in France to launch it. We've gone to Spain, we've gone to UK, we've gone to Chile, Peru, Japan, so many amazing countries. And I hear myself speaking all those languages because I'm dubbed in them. And the show is tremendously doing well. So yes, that I will definitely take credit for. But my um, film career in America hasn't even started yet. I mean, so there's no point of me harping on about the fact just because I've signed a movie. Um, that doesn't make someone a star. I'm sorry. Um, so I'm going to wait till my film comes out, and then you all decide um, how that does. But yes, I have had an amazing acceptance in America, people have been incredibly welcoming to me, whether it's been the film industry, whether it's been the press, the media, the audience. Every airport I go to, that's the only place I get to go out outside set is an airport. So, <laughs> mera, mera exposure to the world is just airports. Every airport I go to, I get so many people calling me Alex and loving the show and, and speaking to me, in, no matter which country I go to. So, um, it's been an incredible experience, but I would say it's just the beginning. Um, everything that has happened to me, whether it was Maxim Hot 100 thrice or the Time magazine, the Time cover, or you know my show doing what it has done, all of it is just about, I truly believe this, one or maybe two percent of what respect Indian actors deserve in, in the world, I think. We've always been boxed into a certain box, but we are worth so much more. So I want to be able to open up gateways by plowing the world for Indian talent to get opportunities coming there. And, and I, I hope they are even more successful than me. Um, but it's going to take time. So I'm not someone who's ever planned my career, really. I'm very instinctive. I consider myself an artist, not an actor. So whenever opportunities come my way, I do it because I feel good or not. Or I do it or So I don't know what is next. I know it'll be something within creativity. But, I mean, if you think I surprise you, I surprise me also. <laughs> there, this is the photo, the infamous photo. And uh, so that was my reaction. I have a real... ...were on CNN in America. The way I see it. <laughs> So my reaction was that, that I put a photograph out on Twitter and told people, judge for yourself. Um, I did Etras and I did Saat Khun Maaf and I really enjoy playing villain characters. And Baywatch was, that's the reason why it is so much fun is because it's a comedy. So, um, so basically it is Victoria against all six of them the lifeguards. So the lifeguards have to try and, I can't tell you the premise of the story, but the lifeguards have to protect themselves and the beach against Victoria who wants to destroy them. So the entire film is about how that happens and of course the relationships between the two. So it's a comedy movie, it's not a drama um, and obviously with Zach and Dwayne it'll be hilarious. Um, it's a very, very funny movie. It's going to be a major, I think so. It'll be a major summer blockbuster next year. You all must keep May 19th marked. Because first of all, we've all loved Baywatch growing up, especially in India. And second of all, I'm very mean in the film. 
I'm very mean in the film. And I don't think Dwayne has ever had somebody be so patronizing and mean to him. I mean, that's what he told me. So he just, because he can't punch me, <laughs> he can't crush me. He doesn't know what to do when I'm mean to him. So it's, to, in fact, the whole um, lifeguard squad. So it, it was a great experience, so much fun, especially because I could, Seth Gordon, who's the director, he had made horrible bosses. So he has a great sense of comedy as well. So we did a lot of improv, we did a lot of, um, you know, figuring out things to say, jokes on set. It was a very collaborative film. Um, we finished shooting the entire film in just about 60, 65 days. Um, and uh, yeah, so it was great fun and I'm really, really looking forward to how people will react to the, how people will react to Victoria, especially because my debut in for the rest of the world besides Hindi films is going to be a negative character. And I'm taking on <laughs> Dwayne and Zach, who are like the people's champions. So I don't know, America might not like me very much. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not worried, I'll be very sad. Because Baywatch is a rated R movie. It is a comedy on, you know, which is, which is like that. Um, which is, I mean, common news because Dwayne keeps writing that on every post about Baywatch that he makes. But I don't know, um, apparently the conversations are going in a really great way. Um, it is a certification board and hopefully we'll get certified. I hope that happens. I can't do a Hindi film till my season two finishes for Quantico, so I have the luxury of time. I have time later. That's why I've actually been so much time in because I've been meeting a lot of filmmakers. The problem is that I I have only a certain chunk of time for next year. And I've heard so many interesting scripts, I don't know how to pick right now. <laughs> so I'm at that point where I'm, I'm being greedy. There are some incredible films that are being made in Hindi films right now. And in the, over the last actually two weeks, I've met some amazing filmmakers. My mind says, I'll do this, I'll do this, I'll do this. But I had a habit of four films at least a year. Ki. So suddenly now I've been reduced to one or two, I feel very, it's not fair. So I'm taking my time <laughs> to figure out which film. Um, I have time because I can't start shooting before March. So I'll, t I'll decide in the next few months, I guess. So far, I mean, there have been a lot of actors who've taken sabbaticals, um, whose films haven't come out, act female and male, whose films haven't come out for two years, three years. But I don't think the Indian audience needs to be reminded, Ki, Aao, mujhe dekho. अगर उनको प्यार है देखना चाहेंगे देख लेंगे नहीं देखना चाहेंगे नहीं देखेंगे आप किसी को फोर्स नहीं कर सकते आओ फिल्म देखना देखने के लिए हमारी ऑडियंस बहुत स्मार्ट है तो मैं बिल्कुल ऐसा नहीं सोचती हूँ कि ओ शिट अगर मुझे लोग देखेंगे नहीं तो भूल जाएंगे आई एम नॉट अ वेरी इनसिक्योर पर्सन इन लाइफ इन जनरल मुझे अच्छा प्रोजेक्ट मिला वक्त मिला तो करूँगी नहीं मिला तो मुझे बिलीव नहीं है कि आई हैव टू डू अ फिल्म बिकॉज मुझे दिखाई देना चाहिए Not at all. My uh, show every Saturday comes to your bedrooms, comes to your house, with Quantico on, on in India. My film Baywatch will have a very big Indian release. I intend on getting the entire cast here. Um, we are doing a worldwide press junket. So um, I, I, don't, I, I don't think it works like that. Today, entertainment has become very global. You will also watch Game of Thrones in your house sitting at home. So I don't think people think like that anymore. And I love Hindi films. I'm an Indian actor before I'm anything else. I say that no matter where in the world I go. Whatever I've learned, whatever I'm doing today, Hindi films are because of it. And that's my training ground. So until the audience will like me, I'll do it. I won't like it. I'll do it. I'll know myself. Um, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, I really believe that stardom should not be announced. Stardom needs to be discovered. And it's to me, it's just amazing when, through me, like I've, there, it's happened to me so many times that fans of the show write to me, whether it's on Twitter or, or to ABC, where they say, oh, I watched my first Hindi film. I went to Netflix and I watched Priyanka's, say, fashion or Dostana or Dawn or whatever. And it's so amazing to me that people have are discovering my f Hindi films and my body of work through my show. People who have never known Hindi films have never known Hindi films. So for me, and um, for the rest of the world, they are knowing what Indian actors are capable of. Um, ki hum, we don't only have to be 
you know, the, um, the stereotype of Indian characters that we are made to play with accents like this where nobody talks like that. You know, wh why are we always made to talk like that? We, we don't. Modern India doesn't. English is almost, almost our second language if, if our parents choose to put us into an English medium school. So those are the stereotypes I try and break. So it's very, it's amazing to me this cultural exchange that is happening via me. Um, it's, it's really great to see that. I, I get so many, especially young girls for some reason love Hindi films who come up to me and say, oh, we watched our first Hindi film and, um, you know, I want to, and they'll do dub smashes for me of my lines and, and send it to me. And it's, it's a lot of fun and that it's really, really amazing when that happens. But of course, having, um, I've been a public person since I was 17 years old. I'm used to getting attention. I mean, that's my normal. I'm, I'm not used to, and in the Indian diaspora for Hindi films is all over the world. So wherever we go, we are used to getting love and affection. But this is in another way altogether, where it's almost like, it's, it's fun that I'm being discovered and I don't have to introduce myself. Globally, you are doing a lot of good work. You are appreciating your work. Sadi Sadi Deepika Padukone, she is also doing uh, well in Hollywood. Uh, uh, aise reports hain ki aap dono ke beech ek global competition hai pehle bollywood mein tha uh, global platform pe bhi hai are i thought aap log kehte the ki hum dost the ab competition ban gaye hai na pehle to yehi likhte the na sab log ki we were bffs yeah to ye kaise badla kab badla kyon badla wo aap batayenge hame nahi maine to nahi kaha ki badla hai aap keh rahe hain ki badla hai to uh, usi so, par clarification chahiye tha main uh, clarify kar rahi hu na ki kuch nahi badla jaise the hum waise hi hain aapka nazariya badla hai जो आपको नहीं बदलना चाहिए जिस तरह के प्रोजेक्ट्स आप कर रही हैं हॉलीवुड में हाँ। वैसे दीपिका की टीम इज आल्सो ट्राइंग टू गेट यू द गेट दीपिका द सेम प्रोजेक्ट वो सवाल आपको उससे पूछना चाहिए ना हाउ डू यू मेरी टीम तो ट्राई नहीं कर रही है नहीं ना तो मेरे से सवाल किसी और के बारे में तो डजेंट मेक सेंस क्योंकि मैं किसी और की जिंदगी पे ज्यादा ध्यान नहीं देती तो मुझे पता नहीं है माय करियर हैज बीन वेरी सॉलिटरी किसी और के सक्सेस और फेलियर से मेरे करियर का कुछ लेना देना कभी नहीं था एंड वो वैसा भी अभी भी जारी होगा जैसे मैंने पहले कहा आई होप कि जिस तरह का काम मैंने किया है एंड जिस तरह की जिस तरह का झंडा मैं गाड़ने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ इंडियन एक्टर्स और इंडियन फिल्म इंडस्ट्री को रिप्रेजेंट करते हुए आई होप कि बहुत सारा इंडियन टैलेंट ना सिर्फ इंडियन साउथ एशियन टैलेंट या ग्लोबल टैलेंट जिनको एंट्री नहीं मिलती है ग्लोबल um, एंटरटेनमेंट uh, में उनको वो दर्जा मिले आई होप सो एंड वो चाहे कोई भी हो आई वुड ऑलवेज विच दैम वेल एंड आई होप कि मेरी तरह नहीं उनको मुझसे ज़्यादा भी सक्सेस मिले Ma'am, I have no idea. You'll have to ask the IFA makers. Um, uh, from what I know, some that, that it was supposed to happen, and then I don't know what happened, why it didn't. So I ended up doing it in my act. Well, I'd say thank you very much, Karina, for acknowledging my work. Um, she's actually been very, very um, encouraging of me, um, and the teddy things that I do sometimes, and I I really admire for for her for being that way with me and um, I mean I wish her the best in life and I'm really really grateful that you know words like that coming from your colleagues it really gives you the strength to be able to do um, even better work so thank you. I don't take myself so seriously actually the only thing I take myself serious about is in between action and cut. एक्शन और कट के बीच में अगर मैं अच्छा काम कर जाऊँ ना बाकी मुझे इमेजरी स्ट्रैटेजी ये सब समझ में नहीं आती मैं बहुत आर्टिस्टिक और इंस्टिंगटिव इंसान हूँ जब मैं चेंज करती हूँ क्या पहनना है मच टू माई स्टाइलिस डिजडेन हु मज बी सिटिंग देर मैं कभी भी पहले डिसाइड नहीं करती कि ये आउटफिट होगा माई ऑस्कर आउटफिट डिसीजन वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन द डे ऑफ द ऑस्कर्स हमारे पास चार शॉर्ट लिस्ट थे बिकॉज आई अगर उस दिन जाके मूड नहीं बना तो आई एम वेरी मूडी आई एम अ कैंसेरियन मे बी दैट्स वाई so um i i am very organic about i don't i don't put so much stress on it i have a great team hair makeup clothes wo sab unka kaam hota hai mujhe to jeans aur t-shirt mein bhej do main tabhi bhi utna bhi utna hi impact banaungi <laughs>